Swan Island. It's another beautiful little place for an anchorage uh, on the actual southern side of it. Nice white sandy anchorage spots and it's off the top northeast side of Tassie mainland. We do quite a bit of beach combing and find all sorts of dead animals and things but this time we found a whale whale bones up on this end of the beach which we don't see very often so at some stage they've had a whale there and as well as that we get the large forest kelp that comes in in big rafts which can be quite a problem out there the anchorage here like most in the of the boats in the motors straight and off Tassie there is all very weather dependent and swell dependent um, it was blowing northeastly so it was a chance to try this anchorage out and it is good sand to anchor in as you can see up on the other end of the bay there is a couple of bays on the island um, we did find it, uh, that the swell wrapped around the corner a bit even though it's a northeasterly swell it did wrap around and come in and create a bit of a rolly situation so we didn't end up staying there, we spent half the day there and from there we went onwards down to St Helens on Tassie. Back in 2018 uh, our other anchorage around this sort of time was over on the Portland side where all the windmills are, which you can see from Swan Island. Um, we back then saw a lot of dead blue penguins washed up in that and couldn't work out why you'd find so many dead blue penguins because they are such good swimmers. So, haven't seen any bodies along, we've walked the whole beach but I noticed that the island is a mutton bird island apparently. There are signs there. And I think the blue penguins also use it because of the amount of tracks I've seen going up. And just walking around the rocks, we did find a blue penguin body. Not that old either. Half eaten on the head. So it makes you wonder where the blue penguins are on decline, only finding one body like that. Swan Island is also a lighthouse island. So in this part of the video here, up on the other end of the island, the lighthouse is up there with the lighthouse keepers buildings. Uh, you can see in that clip further up, that is the other anchorage. And here's a shot of the actual blue penguin just to show you they are around there. So also Jules went for a walk by herself up the other way around the rocks. I asked Missy, I said, well, where is she? So she's pointing the right way. So off I went with the drone. Which is a good chance to see what the rest of the shoreline is up along here in the drone. And halfway along the shoreline, who shall I spot? And there's Jules doing a beachcombing thing and, and photos. 
and she'll give us a wave for the end of our video. So as you can see, um, this is why we own boats. We can get to spots like this and we can be more or less just by ourselves, you know, no crowds, no boats. It is the magic of the whole thing. Just got to choose your weathers because um, the waters around Swan and Portland area are very current drawn. Um, we do see a lot of rough water around there. So you're always battling against it. But that's part of the adventure. Hope you enjoyed this video.